guys, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make pastelli. And pastelli is a very simple and healthy Greek. It's like a candy uh, slash candy bar. It's, it's almost like a really healthy, it's not a granola bar because there's no oats in it. It's made with just very few ingredients. Honey, sesame seeds, almonds. I'm using almonds, but you can use your favorite nuts traditionally. A lot of times you can find these uh, sold with the pistachio, salted pistachios go great in it, but I'm using almonds, I'm going to use a little bit of orange for flavoring, a pinch of sea salt, and that's it. These are all the ingredients. I like my pastelli, which is like sesame candy, soft. I don't like it hard, so I'm strictly using honey and I'm also keeping it healthy like that. If you want it to be harder, and I'll show you what that means when we get to cutting it later on, you can uh, substitute a little bit of sugar for this and then when it dries it'll be a little crisp but I like it when it's chewy, it's just delicious. Now the first step to making this is to toast the sesame seeds and the nuts. So I'm gonna do this in my oven. You can do it over um, like medium fire on a frying pan, but I just find that it's just much easier to do it in the oven. It takes about five to seven minutes or so for them to, be, to get toasted at about 350 degrees. So I'm gonna pop these in my oven and then we're gonna get to heating up the honey. So before we do that, we're going to use a little bit of juice of the orange. Now it's completely optional to put orange in it. You can leave it out. You can also um, flavor this with cardamom seeds if you have, or just completely leave it all out and maybe put some vanilla extract or almond extract. It's totally up to you, but I love the citrus notes in this, especially coming from the orange. So um, if you don't already know, the zest of citrus has most of the flavor in it. So I like to use the zest and the juice. And you cannot zest an orange once it's juiced, so make sure you always do that first. That looks perfect. Now, when, since this has such few ingredients, you wanna make sure that the honey that you're using is the highest quality of honey that you can get. If you haven't already tried Greek honey, you really must do so. I'm gonna put the link down below where you can get this online. It is like no other honey, and I love honey. I've tried so many different kinds of honey. This has a caramel uh, texture. It's very thick. It has hints of like thyme and oregano in it. Not like, not like the pizza kind of uh, flavor, but it's just kind of back there in the background. Really delicious. So make sure you give it a try. If you don't have it or if you can't get it, use local, really good quality honey. Now the trick to getting honey out of the jar I mean, out of the measuring cup is to put a little bit of oil in your measuring cup and we're using one and a half cups of honey. And you can also put it in a jar of really hot water just to kind of get it ready. Which I didn't do, I should have done that, but that's okay, we have time. See how easily it comes out? I'm going to do the same thing. I put some olive oil in this measuring cup as well. And I'm just going to get the rest of this honey out in here into my pot. And we'll move on to the next step. So the honey is in the pot. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze a little bit of orange juice in here. And put a little bit of salt, about like a quarter to half a teaspoon. And I'm going to bring this to a boil and I'm going to let it cook for about five minutes just so that way it can thicken just a little bit. And in that time, the sesame seeds and the almonds should be toasted and it'll just be that much closer to being ready. So once the honey comes to a boil, you're going to want to reduce the heat a little bit so it doesn't you know, splatter out and burn you and let it cook on low for five minutes and it's just going to thicken up a little bit and it's going to be perfect. And in that time, the sesame seeds and the, um, your nuts, whatever you're using, should have toasted. And we're just going to chop these nuts up really coarsely just like that I turn the heat off so the sesame seeds are toasted the honey syrup is nice and thickened we're just going to put everything in here now Okay, so I put the sesame seeds in there. I'm going to put the chopped almonds and the orange zest. And 
all we're doing now is just mixing it all up until it's nice and combined. Hmm, when the orange, anytime orange zest hits any hot liquid, it just smells just amazing, so good. Now I have an eight by eight inch square baking pan. You can use any baking pan you want. I like my bar to be a little bit on the thicker side, so I'm using this dish. You can also use a half sheet pan if you wanted to. Just make sure you line it with parchment paper. And then we're gonna take this whole, this beautiful honey and sesame mixture and just pour it in here. And then we're just gonna spread it out. And then we're gonna just leave this out at room temperature for about 40 minutes until it sets and cools. And then put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour or two for it to harden. And then once it's nice and set and harder, we're gonna cut it up into pieces. And I'll show you in just a bit what that's gonna look like. Okay, so once the honey bar has set in the refrigerator, I took it out. It was sitting in there for a while and I just took it out so that way the paper can come off easily. You want to take off, look at how beautiful that looks. You want to take the parchment paper right off. And then the best way to cut it is with a knife, a sharp knife obviously, but have some hot water next to you and um, that way it's easy to clean the knife off in between slicing. Now you can cut this any way you want. Any shape you want you can make out of this. You can make long bars and make them like little like energy bars or you can make them little small candies and wrap them up in parchment paper. This is a nice gift to give at a party. They're chewy. Look at how beautiful that is. So this is what they're gonna look like when they're almost at room temperature. They're gonna be kind of, they're gonna be really soft for sure, but they're gonna be like this. Mmm, that is so delicious. A lot of times pastelli is sold and it's much harder. That's because they make it with mostly sugar. I don't think that that's healthy and I think this tastes way better. But if you really wanna get that texture of the more harder, sort of sesame candy, then what you can do is you could do half honey, half sugar, and do the same thing, like cook it over the stove for about five minutes, and then you'll get a harder candy. But to me, this is perfect. It's soft, it's gooey, it's almost like caramel and sesame seeds. Very delicious. I'm gonna continue cutting this. I'm gonna stop talking with my mouth full. You go on the website, www.demetriusdishes.com, get this recipe, make it, the, the description box right below this video has a link that takes you directly to the website. So it's going to take you there. There's a few ingredients. Make it. Hand it out to your friends and your neighbors. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and let me know what you want to learn how to make next in the comment section down below. Share pictures with me on social media because I love to see the recreations of these recipes. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>